Coming up next on the Jeff Curley Show, you'll meet the founder of an innovative new co-working space for kids. He'll explain next. Many are predicting that the worst is yet to come, which is unfortunate, said one person here. Until now, they've enjoyed the reputation of being the nation's icebox. Watched a burglar in his home this morning by webcam. As a journalist of over 25 years, stories are what make my world turn. Reporting live from the Dallas Newsroom tonight, Jeff Crilly, Fox 4 News. But in 2008, I took the jump from my familiar life and started a PR firm from my home. We're talking about anyone with a camcorder like the one I'm using becomes a television network. We started slowly growing the company and we now have over a hundred clients and we've branched into the world of live digital broadcasting. I now own eight different TV studios and have a huge team and the stories that I now get to share are sometimes the most important of my life. Life has a funny way of coming around full circle. This is the Jeff Crilly Show. Well, everybody's seen the headlines that the uh, pandemic did a number on young people. I mean, think about it. It's almost like a lost year. And now when you look at test scores, test scores continue to tick tick down. Part of that is the, the pandemic. And part of that is the education system really isn't designed to teach to individual students. It's a one size fits all solution. Uh, to talk about that today, William C. Campbell III, he is the founder of Dallas Academics Hub. Yes, Thanks sir. for coming on the show. I appreciate you for welcoming me, Jeff. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I want you to share with us your journey because you were a yeah. teacher. Yeah, Jeff. So I um, started born and raised here in Dallas. I started as a high school math teacher. I taught in a couple of different public schools and charter schools. Um, and I quickly learned that I needed to adjust what I was doing for the students that, you, that we were serving. And I think you hit it on the nail at the beginning saying it the education system is a one size fit all, and I've quickly learned that we need to change that. You were telling a wonderful story just before we started. Would you share that? Yeah, so um, my first year of teaching, actually, I was working with a uh, youth. He came in and let me know, like, hey, I'm not learning anything. I was an Algebra One teacher at the time, and uh, when we did a diagnostic, quickly found out that he was on like a kindergarten level, math level, right? And made it all the way to ninth grade, and it was just challenging. Um, and so I quickly had to adjust the way that he, I taught him. Um, and quickly learned that he could learn, but it just had to be a change in the environment and space um, and the way that I taught him as a teacher. Um, once I worked with him intensely, I quickly learned it, was just, it wasn't just him. All students needed this access, but how can I provide this for everyone was the struggle with the parameters of working in a public school. Yes, we were on your Facebook and we saw some great pictures of you teaching. Uh, let's go ahead and pull up some pictures. Oh, um, yeah. <laughs> did you, where, where was that? Do you remember? This is actually at the Soto Meadows Elementary. And I was doing a session with some parents and youth around uh, engagement in the classroom. That's awesome. Yeah, that's <laughs> awesome. All right, that's a great way to tee up um, what Dallas Academics is. And, yeah. and uh, it's spelled mix yes. deliberately. Talk about on that. On purpose. Yeah. So, um, we are not a educational facility. We are not providing curriculum or anything like that. We're providing a space, um, an exposure, an environment, uh, and emotional stability, right? That's our services that we provide. The reason we were with Mix is because when you think about Mix, it's like when you're baking a cake, you're putting all these products together to create one wonderful product that's gonna taste good, right? And so when we're thinking about the youth and the education system, we're gonna throw in so much uh, ingredients in there stare it up and hopefully that this awesome product comes out of from the program that they go through. Well, let's go ahead and pull up the homepage of your website. And as we scroll down the website, I want you to talk about when it's going to open. And you gave me an analogy, you compared it to Chuck E. Cheese meets yeah. uh, WeWork. Yes, yeah, so I want you to imagine you're in a WeWork space with some Chuck E. Cheese and uh, a school come mm -hmm. together and they're like, hey, we're going to open up a space. We're potentially looking to open in lunch in August of this school year at the beginning of the school year. Um, and we're very heavily focused on emotional stability and so providing resources and access to things that you wouldn't typically have in the classroom. So like kinetic sand, um, maybe a ball pit, bean bags, a couch, uh, it, there will be desk for you, but we want you to be able to choose where you want to learn and how you want to learn for the youth. And talk about how um, this is really a game changer for parents. Yeah, so one, this will provide one for those parents that work in homeschool their youth this will be a space for them to drop them off and know that they're getting uh, a facilitator, a tutor that will help them along the way. This will also be a space for those parents that don't know how to homeschool their youth. And they're just like, hey, I would like to homeschool and pull them out of the school district, but I just don't have the resources to do that. We're going to provide that resource for them. 
um, and be there to support them on that on that journey. I can tell that you're um, a serial entrepreneur. It, it, <laughs> you're always inventing different things. Yes, uh, eventually, do you see this being rolled out across the country? Yeah, so the reason we went with a hybrid model of a for-profit uh, program with a nonprofit programming is because we want to franchise this and later put this out there as in many spaces as possible. Uh, we are intentionally only serving 25 kids at a site per time to be intentional about those relationships that we're building and also to be intentional about the connections and partnerships that we're bringing in for each particular youth. Sure, and I know your staff is gonna be incredibly important for this yes. being successful. What kind of qualities are you looking for in, in your teammates? So what's so interesting is our staff model. We will have two facilitators that will be there just to kind of monitor the space. Uh, we will have three tutors, and so we're hopefully working with a couple college universities in the neighborhood to bring in those uh, individuals that are looking to become teachers soon to come in and tutor our youth and then we just have an operations manager just to make sure the day-to-day -day of the building is being operated correctly. Yeah, we've only got a couple of minutes left, William, and I congratulate you on your mission and yeah. ministry. I think this is really soulful. What um, people can donate, people can sign up, people can become um, sponsors. Yes. Uh, yeah, how do people get involved? Uh, if you would like to get involved, one way is definitely checking out our website at www.dallasacademicshub.com. Um, there's a contact us field there. Or you can just follow us on any social media sites as well as Dallas Academics Hub. Outstanding. William, thank you. Thanks for coming on the show. We're going to end with the website, which is DallasAcademics.com. The great William C. Campbell III. Thanks for coming on the show. Appreciate you, Jeff. You bet. That's it for now. We'll see you next time.